Hi, my name is Jojo and I live in a tent on an island in Sweden. And today I'd like to answer one question that many of you asked me. Where do I get my electricity from? From here. Thanks for watching, see you next time. No, just kidding. <laughs> so I have a solar panel here. This size, uh, it has 150 watts. Um, maximum, of course, it depends on uh, how the, the weather is, how the sun is. Uh, in summer, of course, uh, you have not only more sun, but also the sun intensity is different. I think it has an effect uh, on it, but I actually don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so this solar panel here is connected with a wire that goes into the tent back here. Uh, this thing, of course, is waterproof. It's, it's out there in the rain, uh, in snow. Uh, all the, the plugs, the, the connections are uh, watertight, so it doesn't matter if it's raining or not. Let's follow the cable. Now, um, so here in my beautiful, tidy place, um, I have a. Oh, there's water. Uh, I have a place where the cable is coming through, uh, and I seal it with another clamp so that no mice can come in. And the cable from the solar panel is going. Yeah, sorry. more light. So the cable from the solar panel is back here going to this device. And now I will change the camera position and make a cut. So here um, here is this device. Uh. <laughs> ah. Here is this device, a controller. Uh, I have to say, uh, I, I bought the, the whole thing, uh, the solar panel, the cables and the controller in, in one package, so it, I, I knew it, it would all fit together. Uh, so this controller takes the solar panel, it connects uh, a battery, a normal car battery that is, and it has a 12 volt output and at the 12 volt output I connected one of these things um, that you maybe know from, from a car so it's the, the same things as you have in a car the, the uh, a cigarette lighter plug so and here for example I have an adapter to USB so I can charge um, various USB devices I have basically most of my things charging over USB here are the batteries for this camera. I have here the GoPro camera which also charges through a USB port. Uh, and one thing I have that I've, I've seen uh, at, a, at, a, at a, 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 a friend's place, uh, he uses these. Uh, I figured out these are very handy. Um, this is, these are normal uh, AA batteries, rechargeable. Uh, in this charger, but this charger takes in USB but also outputs USB 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 <laughs> so you can charge the batteries with this but you can also um, plug in any USB device so for example I could charge the GoPro from this I can charge my phone uh, but I can also just take out the batteries and use it in my headlamp for example uh, or in the audio recorder here so this is very practical I'm really glad something like this exists and yeah so uh, yeah of course that's when the Sun is up and it's shining um, this this car battery 
Uh, it's an old one. I got it from a friend. I'm not sure how how well it is. Still, how 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 I don't know even even know what I want to say in German. If it works perfectly, I'm not sure. It's a uh, LED battery, so it's uh, better performing than than a, a lithium ion battery in cold temperatures. Yeah, this gets charged. So so when when the electricity from the solar panel comes in, it charges the battery, and it gives power to uh, this 12 volt output. When there is no sun coming in from outside, then the electricity from the battery is outputted here. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have electricity here all the time, except the battery is empty and no sun. But other than you have here all the time. Then I have here something else because you can't use everything with 12 volts for some some things for some things you need the normal 220 230 volt output you would find in any household here i have this a power inverter which is directly connected to the battery 12 volt and it uh, transforms to the 12 volt from the battery to 230 volts um, normal uh, power outlet here uh, it has 500 watts, so you can put 500 watts uh, to this. It also has a, another USB port, which is very practical. You can turn this thing on and off, then it gives you power. Um, with these power inverters, you need to be careful um, because you have um, devices that create a pure sine wave, like from the electricity, a because it's in a wave, a pure sine wave or a like a, a cut off sine wave. Um, the cheaper ones, they produce a cut off sine wave. You can use this uh, if you have uh, uh, things like a light, uh, 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 basically anything that doesn't contain electronics. If you have a, a water boiler, um, something like this you, you can use one of these cheaper ones with the cut off sine wave if you have anything electronically like a piano for example or a, a charger for the drone batteries or a computer or anything you would need one with a pure sine wave because otherwise it can damage uh, your electronics uh, which is not good yeah so um, I have here that's the, the, the charging device for the for the uh, drone batteries. Uh, this is the most I use this for um, because it charges much faster through here than through a 12 volt output and here I can charge all at the same time or I can put in all at the same time and they charge after one after another which is very practical um, and I also use this to charge the batteries for my uh, drill uh, to use it with the piano and of course, to play with my model train. Somewhere here I have uh, a light like this, uh, where I that I can plug in here to the 12 volt output. Um, but of course, it is not working at the moment because I didn't solder the the, the contacts. I just tape and put them them together but in theory it should be something like this which is bright and nice and can light up the space in here when I need a proper light uh, but now I can see that already the battery is starting to get empty which is not because it's empty it's just because um, of the temperatures if you have any idea how I can increase the performance of this battery in low temperatures please let me know uh, I would appreciate it very much. Yeah. But that's all the electronics I have. In this case, thank you for watching. And for the end, 
I can, since we talked about electronic things. I can play you a goodbye chord. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Thank you for watching, see you next time, if you have any more questions, let me know and I will try to answer them, bye!